so okay let's see I'm just counting these out I want to take the third black key is five the one two three four fifth white key is one ah my pencil lead bro I hate when that happens the joys of mechanical pencils okay the seventh white key is four the eight nine tenth white key is two and then the three four five six seven eight nine tenth black key is three that's an important clue probably good to write that down and then this is kind of a little map of that age what's in this book here some of the books are just backstory some of the books just give you backstory about the various ages you can visit later um, I think this one is about the rhyme age which is the new age they added to real mist that was not in the original that's a burn book it's in here so we'll go back to the rhyme age book later can't do anything with it just yet the diagram of some moving parts okay and more burnt books. Okay, so we've opened up those, and the next thing we need to do is figure out how to work this. What we're doing is we're rotating the tower behind the library, the tower that you can gain access to by going to the little underground tunnel. The problem is, you can't tell where it's rotated to or what good it's doing you until you start flipping marker switches. Let's start it. We'll start with marker switch number one here, out by the dock. We'll just turn that on. and then run back in the library and you will see all the difference in the world that it makes when looking at the map of mist. Where's the map? It's over here. Ah! Now we can do something with this tower. It'll stop on that dock. Stopped. Neat. And you can hear it rumbling. Okay, good. Uh, so we need to activate the tunnel. go through the tower and up the elevator we'll open this door and then you've got to close the door and take the elevator up into the tower and then depending on where you've rotated the tower to you may or may not get useful clues And this was all very impressive in 1993 as well, seeing the moving graphics back there. Okay, so... And now we can see that the tower is pointed out over the docks, out over the marker switch down there. Right there where I'm pointing. And that is what the tower rotation does. Not much of anything useful for the... Uh, the ship in particular, so let's go flip the rest of the marker switches. That's what we're going to do. Marker switch time. And then we'll have solved that problem. And that's one of the cool things about Mist is that all the puzzles you solve are solved organically. It's by running around, it's by looking at things and how they interact. How does this part of the world connect with that part of the world? Um, there's a lot of observation. There's a lot of just playing with what you're given. And so it doesn't degenerate into things like dialogue trees and fetch quests and try every item in your inventory on every clickable spot uh, in the game, like a lot of adventure games do. And that's why Mist is great. And it's awesome and we love it. Okay, so there was number one. Number two was up here. We'll just flip this one here. And it's hard to see now because it's nighttime. And then switch number... Three is over here by the observatory. Flip it. There we go. Uh, switch number four was up by the rocket. There's number four. Okay, number five, six, seven, and eight were over here through the woods. Here is five. Six by the tunnel. Seven by the shack. And eight is... Okay, eight we can't 
we can't get to yet. So, uh, because apparently we can't swim 18 feet. Okay, so, whatever. I won't complain too much. But now our map should be much, much more helpful. Where almost everything on the island is... So let's just start at the gear and work our way around. We'll start the gear first. So... Now that slot in the tower should be pointed directly at the marker switch near the giant gear. Close the door, take the elevator up. This is one of the big criticisms of adventure games. There's a lot of retreading your steps. There's a lot of travel involved in going back and forth. Uh, because you might have to go to one part of the game to change something and then walk all the way across the game to another section to see if that interaction did anything for you. I don't mind it, but a lot of people do, and that's one of the big criticisms of adventure games. And we'll go up the ladder now. And now we can see out over the gear. There it is. Okay, so that didn't... The, the slot did not do us anything useful as far as the gear is concerned. And again, if this were my first time through Mist, I would be making notes of that. Docks. Gear. You know. What, I, what did I see out the window when I looked at the docks? When I looked at the gear? Not much of anything. Unfortunately. This is the longest elevator ever. Back to the library. I'm kind of alternating between the, the arrow keys and the uh, mouse for how I like to navigate. Okay, the docks we've done. So that looks like it's pointed at big tree. Or maybe the observatory. I couldn't tell. Let's find out. This didn't happen to be a mist, but it happened to me in another adventure game I played that had an elevator like this. And I was stuck at that point for like three hours because the elevator button didn't... the elevator had power. It, it was a whole puzzle to get the power turned on. And, uh, but I kept getting the elevator, the button didn't work, and I was like, what am I missing, what am I missing? I was screwing around with water levels and the electricity generator. Turns out it was I didn't close the door. I didn't close the door of the elevator, that's why it didn't work. A derp derp. Oh yeah, it's the big tree. So now we get a good view of the big tree and the observatory. So I guess maybe that doubles. Oh, wait a minute. No wonder. Okay, I... See, this is what I'm talking about. I forget a lot about this game. The book shows you a view of where you're looking at. You've got to go behind the elevator and climb the ladder with the key to get a clue. The clue... Ah! Big tree clue equals seven two four but you guys are lucky because you get to watch the uh, the whole elevator trip a few extra times because I've got to go back and start over with the gear now don't I see and you know sometimes sometimes the whole point of the game is You've got to be observant. Where can you walk? That's the big question. Where can you walk? If you just take for granted you cannot walk a certain way, the game has got you. The game has got you trapped. There's not going to be anything useful down that hallway. I'm just going to skip straight down the hallway. As soon as you take for granted that something in the game world is uh, is not useful, that's when, th that's when the game has you because that's when you're going to get stuck. Let's start over at back at the big gear.
And Myst has some examples of that. It has little nondescript hallways where very, very important things are kept. But you'd never know it if you just keep clicking down the hallway. And one of the innovations that Myst has, not in real Myst, because real Myst is a 3D world, but in the original Myst, which is just a series of screenshots that you click through, uh, like, say you're looking down a long hallway, you click the button to take one step forward, and you get to the next screen. But if you can see down a long stretch of space, you can click at the very end of the space, and your cursor looks like a little lightning bolt. And the trick is, it'll let you jump straight to that point, so you can skip all the inter intervening screens. This is the big gear. Big gear equals... okay. So, on one hand, the lightning bolt is a good thing, because it lets you get out of having to walk everywhere, click, 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 step, step, step. Big gear equals 240, 2, 2, 1. Gotcha. Thank you. Let's go back down. Uh, but on the other hand, if you rely too much on that little lightning bolt, and you're skipping past little nondescript hallways that you've decided are unimportant, that's when you're going to get stuck, because there's going to be a clue in one of those hallways. There's going to be something important to see, and you missed it because you were lazy. You can't be lazy playing Myst. You will get stuck forever. Also, you can't play it on a monitor that's too dark, and you can't play it with the volume turned down. And I've seen that lobbed as some criticisms of the uh, Myst games and of adventure games in general is like if you are accustomed to playing games with with your speakers turned down or to your own background music and then the game throws a sound puzzle at you you can get stuck for a long time and never know why that's the docks so we gotta go back out to the docks let me just write docks down here docks equals and then I will write down the clue and back in here are you guys tired of this elevator yet? Because I'm not. I could ride this elevator all day. I love mist! Anybody who's uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel is familiar with my Let's Plays. They know that I was a Nintendo kid. I'm a console kid to this day.